Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, and first thing that we need to do is we need to write down the two isotopes that they're giving us. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to choose to do that by writing out to the side here uh, six dash li just like they have in the problem and that stands for uh, isotope six of lithium or lithium six isotope doesn't really matter technically how you say it as long as you mention that you're dealing with an isotope of lithium and this basically this version is six okay the other one is the isotope of lithium uh, seven so seven dash li now we're done with that part. <laughs> That's the easy part. But well, what we need to do is we need to take these uh, percentages that they have given us and write them down. Okay, so basically I'm going to put an equal sign on both of these. Now, since they mentioned lithium 6 first in the problem, then this first percentage that they've given us uh, will go with the 6. Now, there's only one problem they're still in percentages and we always know that if we're going to multiply eventually with percentages we need to change them but for now I will write them down now remember I do not have a fancy pen I'm just using a mouse and freehand so eventually my writing will look ugly and I apologize but you know you know bless my heart and everything just give me you know a chance and I'll try to improve improve this <laughs> later on anyway I'm a teacher so you know we're not paid very much <laughs> All right, so we have 7.42%, uh, and we have 95.58%. Now, we need to change all these to decimals. Now, you can do that uh, one of two ways. You can just swing the decimal two times to the left, or you can divide these two numbers that you see by 100. I'm old school, so I'm just used to multiplying them by 100. So uh, you're going to see a conversion here. So basically, I'm swinging the decimal twice, or you can say that I divide the two numbers by 100. But in any case, I'm going to get 0 0.0742. So I, that's how I was able to drop that percent sign, because I swung the decimal two times to the left. And the same thing here. Swing it two times to the left, or divide that number and the other number by a hundred. So that's zero point ninety five fifty eight. Now, once you have done this and you have this number and you have this number, you're good. Let me tell you where a lot of students make mistakes. It's usually on uh single digit percents because they do not realize that they should have a zero in front of their seven. They'll just put it, put the decimal in front of their seven. Well, that's extremely wrong because uh, you're off by a factor of ten. Basically, you are saying that this is seventy-four point two percent if you put the decimal in front of the seven. So just remember, like cents, uh, you got to have change. So think like money, pocket change. Okay. Anyway there are our two percentages well as we read on they mention that they're giving us the mass of their atoms so what we're going to do is we know once we get the percentages uh, converted into decimals we're ready to multiply by their masses okay so let's go ahead and just write these masses down they're going to be very strange looking but we're going to go ahead and do that okay so times I'm going to be old-fashioned put an X here cuz you know I just want you to get confused later looking at this and thinking that my dot that I put there was a decimal that looked very strange. But anyway, um, here this 9.98 uh, times to some power of grams, this is the first one that's mentioned so it goes with the lithium-6 isotope. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down right here. Okay, So that will be 9 9.88 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. Now, this would be a good time to actually think about grams of what? Well, it's actually grams of their atoms. So there's this many grams 
per atom for this lithium-6 isotope. So I'm going to go ahead and put a slash here and write the word atom. Like I said, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm not doing this by uh, with a fancy pen. I'm doing it by hand with a mouse. You probably can hear the clicks. Click, 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 click. All right. Anyway, uh, next I'm going to take this one and put it down here with this one as well. So this will be one point one six five times ten to the negative twenty three now remember that twenty three there that negative twenty three is grams per atom now if you want to be really proper and fancy and write down uh, lithium uh, up here with the grams or just out to the side that's fine but we know since I've got it in the front of the chart what it is but anyway so grams per atom now this is where we're going to uh, apply a rule that we learned in the beginning of the year uh, with uh, sig figs when we get ready to multiply uh, two sets of numbers okay so we're, we're going to get two unique numbers here. Now since this is multiplication, when you multiply these two numbers together, we're going to keep three sig figs. When you multiply these two sets of numbers together, uh, we're going to use four sig figs. So let's go ahead and get a calculator for that. Okay, for mine, I want to use the TI-83 LAM that, that, I can, that I've installed on my Linux system. Okay, now I need to punch this into the calculator, so just watch. Um, I'm going to punch this in and it's going to be 0 0.0742 uh, times 9.988 now times 10 you should go second comma that shrunken down a is your t exponential form negative 24 okay I'm going to hit enter and I get the uh, following number uh, now remember, I'm supposed to just keep three sig figs because uh, the least amount of significant digits is in the front. So I'm going to keep that uh, 7.41 times 10. Whoops. Times 10 uh, to the, I think it was negative 25. Make sure 7.41 that that will not round. Keep the negative 25 for the power of 10. So yes, that's right. Now it's time to do the other one. Okay, uh, we're going to punch it in. It's Zero point nine five five eight times one point one six five times 10. I think I hit that. Well, it looks like my calculator froze. I'll just shut it down real quick and open it back up. Technology's wonderful when it works. Okay. Uh, 0 0.9558. Uh, uh, at least open it up quick. Times 1.165 times 10 to the negative. 23. So I'm going to hit enter. Make sure, well, uh, actually, make sure I punch everything in right. Need four sig figs on this answer. So I should keep 1.114. So let me write that down as to the negative 23rd. Okay. So that's going to be 1.1116. One, okay. Times 10. to the negative 23. Now I'm going to make sure I punch that in right and look at it again. 1.114. Yes, times 10 to the negative 23. That's right. Now remember, the units on this is still grams per atom. Now, I'm not done because I need to add these two numbers up. So I'll punch those in on the calculator. Uh, 7.41 times 10 uh, to the negative 25 okay plus now because I'm having to add the averages together uh, plus 
point one one four times ten, so that's second comma to the twenty negative twenty third. Then I get this answer. Now that answer, uh, which I'm going to keep two numbers behind, is one point uh what was that? One point one one. I think it's see it. Was it one I need to keep uh, since I'm adding two numbers behind the, so that's 1.19, okay, negative 23rd. 1 1.19 times 10 to the negative, I think it was negative, negative, yes, negative 23rd. Now remember, the units on this is grams per atom. Well, if you read the problem up here, it didn't. It did not want grams per atom. It wanted grams per mole because they mentioned molar mass. Molar mass itself is grams per mole. So I've got one more step. I need to do a little conversion. Okay. Well, if you remember, one mole of anything contains six point zero. 2 times 10 to the 23rd of anything really, 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 really small. Atoms, particles, representative particles, ions, and so on and so on and so on. Like photons and things like that. Well, in this case, we need atoms. So <laughs> that's what we're going to use. Because we'll come down here and do the final steps. We have 1.19 1 uh, times 10 to the negative 23rd grams remember that's for lithium I'll start being fancy all over now remember that is per atom so I'm going to put it over one atom per atom is one atom okay so I'm doing some dimensional analysis here sorry for the crooked line it's a mouse thing uh, up here is where the word atom will go, and then up here is where I'm going to put the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And then below that, i got to put it's equal. Well, it's equal is moles. So there's that many atoms in one mole. And if you look the word atom will mark out with the word atom. Now remember the numbers will still stay. Okay, so I'm going to take this calculator and I'm going to punch this in. 1.19 times 10, so that's second comma, to the negative 23rd and multiply it by 6.02 times 10, so that's second e to the 23rd. And this will be my answer which is 7.1638. Sig fig rules say I should keep three sig figs. So my answer is going to be 7 point, sorry for the word 7, 1 six what? Grams of lithium. And remember that's per mole. Slash MOL. Okay. I didn't really write that probably the best that I could have. So I'm going to erase that real quick. Grams per mo. Probably about the best it's going to get. <laughs> Lithium. All right. Anyway, uh, th so here was the request about a fractional abundance problem given uh, masses of the atoms. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if, if it is, I'm glad to have helped you. And y'all have a good rest of the day. All right.